Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about today, not to elaborate too much on uh, the events of yesterday, but I just wanted to let you know and kind of adapt that to something in your life. Um, <clears throat> we're all going to be faced with weird and strange, <laughs> unexpected challenges in our lives. And the harsh reality of that is that it's going to happen no matter what we do, no matter what position we're in in life, no matter where we're at, no, where, no matter where we're going, uh, no matter your status, um, if you're rich, poor, happy, sad, no matter what, you're going to be faced with pretty strange challenges sometimes. And uh, as you guys seen, <laughs> look at that, kind of a simple pleasure there little mushroom growing out of the ground but you're gonna notice real quick that a lot of things like you know the things that happened yesterday or the things that just happen to you on an everyday basis are not really gonna go away and if you adapt that to a way of eating or a way of pushing or adapting to the success that you want to create for yourself you're gonna be a lot more successful because if you get better at handling those situations in a more positive light, you're going to be a lot better off. And I'm not saying that you can't buckle under the pressure sometimes and you can't get upset or you can't, you know, have a hard time because let's face it, you're, you're going to, and I'm going to, and everybody's, you know, going to handle a situation differently. But if you practice every time, when you're in those hard situations and think about how you're going to respond, how you're going to act, um, you know, with those, say a situation hits you, right? And it hits you tomorrow and you think instantly, you know, I'm about to blow up. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to freak out. So if you stop yourself right in that moment and you stop and you think, okay, so something really crazy has just happened in my life. And you say that and you think to yourself, you say, okay. And, and this, this can all happen in a matter of seconds. It doesn't have to happen in, it's not, an, it's not as long as I'm <laughs> saying it. It's, it's much quicker than the, um, the explanation is. So all in a matter of a couple seconds, you're gonna go through the process of thinking, okay, so if I respond this way, you know, say somebody, you know, let me think of a situation. Say you're at, you're dropping your kids off at school, okay? Say you're dropping your kids off at school and everybody's usually pretty protective of their children and that's understandable because we all love our children and we work hard for our children and everything like that and that's, that's perfectly okay. Say you're at school and you know, maybe your child has special needs, um, which many of our children do um, and Look at that. I just found an entire package of Starburst that I will be giving to the homeless guy down the street because I'm not gonna eat the sugar. <laughs> Pretty funny that I just found that off. Huh? Good thing I don't eat like that anymore. Jeez. Um, never would have found that before when I was eating sugar. <laughs> um, I could say something about this as far as the situation. But, and I will, I will, I will, that's funny. Um, but say somebody says something about your special needs child, like along the lines of, and I'm not going to be too aggressive with it, but you know, they, they say something like, and you know, your child's dumb or your child, I don't want my child around your child because I don't want his disabilities rubbing off onto mine. And yeah. I've heard things like that said in life, and that can be one of the most difficult things that you can ever deal with. Now, you can respond basically one of two ways, probably one of three ways. You could immediately tell that person to go get, or you could tell them, um, I don't appreciate what you're saying. Um, what you're saying is hurtful. 
it doesn't need to be said. It was disrespectful and please don't say it again. Or you could ignore the situation and think it's going to go away. Now, my instant reaction, my personal, this is me, this is me, everybody's different. My personal reaction to that would be response A, I would get pissed. And that would be my instant reaction. It could get physical, <laughs> it could get whatever, um, but my instant reaction would be to be extremely upset. And because I get defensive and I'm a sensitive person, and especially if somebody's talking poorly about, you know, somebody I love and I've put my heart and soul into, somebody I created, you know? And if that happens, um, there's gonna be a couple things that are gonna happen. First of all, I'm gonna go to jail because I beat the hell out of another parent or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, and that's what we all wanna do. So you have to separate yourself from being the person you want to be into maybe being the person you want to see. So you're going to be faced with some challenges, but you have to, like I said before, you have to make sure you are going to respond appropriately. And the reason is because in times of crisis, like I would consider that a crisis. Crisis meaning it flips your script, turns the wrench in your head, and you're now telling yourself it's going to be a difficult situation to get through. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're in panic mode, you're freaking out. That's what I consider a crisis. Now, crisis can be small like this. Um, but the reason I say that you need to act appropriately in times of crisis is because, like I said the other day, you're either in crisis or going through a problem. Now, <laughs> and you're probably like, well, that's a crappy way of looking at it. But no, it's actually the truth because, you know, you got problems with bills, you got problems with this, problems with that. And then somebody says, your kid's going to rub his disability off on mine. And you're like, what the f just happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so that was what I would consider a crisis. Anything that elevates your heart rate in a negative way. So by controlling your behavior in that time of crisis you are actually giving yourself a more structured way of living for the masses meaning the problem times or whatever and don't think i'm being a negative spin on that i'm just saying there are daily problems and things like that that you're going to have to go through and that's completely understandable but if you don't act accordingly in times of crisis then you'll never be able to understand how to act accordingly in times of the regular problems. Now, you can adapt that to many ways, whether it's um, adapting it to <laughs> times of dieting or exercising or anything like that. Now, here's a little bit about what I'm saying. So say you have to go to the gym today, okay? But you had a hard day, your boss pissed you off, you got in an argument with him and maybe that was a time of crisis. You could have potentially lost your job and then you get home and your, your old lady or your wife or your husband or whatever is saying really negative things to you and you're frustrated and you're like, man, I gotta go to the gym. You know what, you know, you, you know what? Screw the gym, I don't wanna to go to the gym, it's been a rough day. Well then, then what happens in that time of crisis, when you recover from that time of crisis and you responded poorly, or a way in which you normally wouldn't have if it wasn't a time of crisis, then unfortunately the next day, when there's not a crisis, there's just a problem. You know, just regular daily problems and stuff. Maybe it was a rough day, but you didn't get an argument with your boss or nothing like that. Well then, because of that, you're not going to the gym. It's going to be far easier to say screw the gym on a problem day than it is a crisis day. So basically what I'm saying, the, the idea of all of this is I think it's important that you understand when you are going through daily life, 
you're gonna have those problem days, those problem days, problem days. Use those as tools that you can build up on, on an imaginary mountain. And then when you get to the top, you're gonna to have that crisis. And that's like, you know, playing a video game or something like that. You get to that end guy and you fight real hard and you beat him up or whatever. And then you get to the next level. Well, like this, like life, um, kind of like a video game, you know, you build up on all of those problems and they get you up to the top of your peak of your mountain and then you've got that crisis day. And when that crisis day comes, you can either win and move on to the next level of achievement, of personal achievement, of being a better version of yourself by knowing that you can continuously grow and get stronger. Because the universe is funny. It's going to take a lot of cracks at you you know it's like a proverbial bat you know hitting you occasionally over and over and it's gonna say well you want to succeed Jonathan but what is it gonna take you know can I can I throw you a crisis can I throw you another crisis can you handle five crises back to back and come out of them on top and I'm asking you I'm asking you I'm not talking about me I'm saying me because this is who here but what I'm saying is if you're trying to push to the next level you have to build on those daily problems in and do them easily which usually most of us are pretty capable of but when you get that crisis you have to realize to treat that crisis just like it's a daily problem don't freak out you know don't act a fool don't act crazy um, because it's important that you know that it's it's gonna go away you know in a couple of days maybe even an hour maybe even five minutes sometimes it's gonna be gone and it's no longer gonna be an issue and that's okay but we are able to evolve to the next level of our lives by handling crisis in a really positive manner and trust me, I know it's a crisis, but it's also a massive challenge. And <clears throat> the universe is saying, hey, can you take this? You want to go to that next level, John. I see that. I see you're working hard. I see everybody's working hard out there. But what you need to do, you know, <laughs> and adapt this to your diet, your meals, your job, your advancement and opportunity, whatever it is. You have to start, start now, you start right now, challenge yourself. Even if you have to be the person that throws your own crisis your own way. You know, say you've been on your diet for six months or your, your lifestyle changed for six months and you've been eating right and you've been doing everything that you're supposed to do, but you haven't really gone out and you're not really sure if you trust yourself, you know, to go out to a barbecue or something like that with family. And here's what I have to do. I have to say, you've gone through these daily problems. You meal, pre you meal prepped, you got all your food ready. You got all those things that you needed to do in order to actually have a good day. And you did it for six months. I think you should inject a crisis. Invite yourself out. Go to dinner with family. Prepare, of course, be prepared. But make sure that you challenge yourself each and every once in a while because if you don't you're never going to evolve to that next level yeah you might get to that challenge you might fail you might you might do shitty you may do very miserably and some of us do and that's okay because then we know we write it down and we say okay what failed what did i do you know what do i got to do next time when's a good time to retry this challenge or whatever for myself and say it's a job you know you're going for a job and you want to do really good at that job. Picture, it looks like a really cool background right there. <laughs> Sorry. But it's important that, say you've been doing your job for, I don't know, two, three years, maybe six months, five months, whatever it is. Depending on the industry, it depends on how long it's going to take you to be able to move up or to try to move up. So, say you've been there six months, and you've learned the ropes, you've worked real hard, and you're scared to take that next move. Maybe the next move is an advancement 
in opportunity. Um, maybe the, a manager a manager position opened or um, a lead editor position opened or something like that. Well, you're going to have to inject yourself into a self-induced crisis. And if you don't, um, say you want you want to. Um, if you don't want to move up, fine. Hey, you know, some people come very complacent and perfectly content with their lives. And I don't know if I, I don't ever want to be that <laughs> like that. But I understand if you do, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not judging you. <clears throat> but I think it's important that if you are wanting to push for something more in your life, then you need to push yourself into that crisis. Panic. I don't care. Sweat in the interview. Do whatever you got to do. Um, prepare. Like I said, with your lifestyle change, as far as meals and stuff like that, prepare for these things. That's, that's what you need to do. Um, you need to know that failure is not a bad thing. It's not. Because every time you fail, you get closer to succeeding. Okay? I can't even count how many times I've failed in my life. I really can't. I know that sounds horrible to say, but... You know, I've failed at different businesses and then I've done good at different businesses and, you know, things happen and you can't control. You want to see what I just found now? Fucking Mentos. A whole package of freaking Mentos. Are you kidding me? So, these are today's crisis. <laughs> Do you know how tempting that would be to eat these? I could literally eat those both packages in five minutes. Not even five minutes, a couple minutes. So, you never know where crisis is gonna come from, but a lot of the times you have to induce it on yourself to see if you can get to the next level, because you can, and sometimes you're gonna fail don't be afraid of failure because all that is, like I said before, is just getting yourself one step closer to achieving. If you fail five times, get back up. Get up the sixth time. Because the sixth time, I guarantee you, winning is right around the corner that you stop. If I stop right here, my success is right around that corner. And you can't let it slip away. You just can't. It's not an option, guys. I want you guys to know, through times of crisis, do your best. Do your best. Pretend like you're looking at yourself from around the corner and you're seeking and you're looking at yourself and you are the person that's gonna hire you or you are the person that is in control of putting you in the next position. If you were watching how you were acting during a crisis, would you promote yourself? Step out, have an out of body experience for a minute. Look at yourself from a distance when you act the way you act when all hell breaks loose. Did you handle it in a calm, cool and collected manner? If you're in customer service and your boss calls you, not even your boss, a customer, comes up to the counter to order a hamburger and they call you an asshole and this and that and they curse you out, well, how did you respond? Did you say, I'm sorry, I apologize, let me see if I can figure out this situation, I'll talk to my manager immediately and get this uh, figured out? Or did you say, you know what? You're being an asshole. Well, if you said that, you got fired. <laughs> or you should be fired. But it, it, those type of situations are pretty obvious. And just be honest with yourself if you handle it in the right way. Um, because the better you handle crisis as it comes across in your life. And you're going to have many, many situations in which you're being tested. Um, some of us are now, some of us are later, some of us may only have crises every 10 years. They have a really kind of calm, even cool life. But I guarantee you, you can't hide from them forever. And you have to work towards being able to handle them in a positive way. And once you become 
better at being able to handle, handle crises in a calm, cool, collective manner when you go to those barbecues or you go to those baby showers or you go to um, a quinceanera or whatever. Uh, whatever you're going to, you're going to find out real fast that you can handle any situation because you slow down, you give yourself about 10 seconds, and that's a lot in, in the frame of thought. Slow down, you know, maybe do it before you walk in the door. And you stop there and you say, you know what? I can handle this. It's not a big thing. It's not a big deal. Um, I got my meals with me. I don't need to explain myself. I can just, you know, hang out, have family time. And it's not necessarily about what anybody else is doing. Uh, it's just about me and my choices. So you have to keep those things in mind. Life's not always going to be super easy, but it's not always going to be super hard. And by using these tools, I hope that you will be able to achieve each and every day get closer to achieving your best level of success whatever that level of success is um, whether it's you know weight loss uh, career development self-improvement whatever it is i hope that by being here and going through our facebook group called healthy living for a healthy life that each and every one of us can be and become better every single day and be the best versions of ourselves. I love you guys. I think you guys are great. Um, I don't know where I would be without you. There's some very special people in my life that I'm very thankful for. And I think in my day right now, I am becoming somebody new. And I'm thankful for that. And I owe a lot of that to you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Not just yesterday. It's not all about one day. From the beginning, um, a few years ago, I started a new life and I brought you guys in it. And together we're creating something fantastic. I love you guys all. I want you guys all to keep up the good work. Stay positive. Don't let haters drag you down. Thank you to all the long, long time members. Um, and that's what shows that what we're doing here is making a difference. If there's any that, anybody that you guys see out there that needs to be talked to or is going through some problems, um, reach out. Send them a private message if you feel that they're too sensitive to talk or something like that. I think it's important that we do that. Don't be creepy. <laughs> but um, just remember, sometimes, you know, reaching out or, you know, writing somebody a letter. Say you have somebody in your family or something that you know needs to be talked to or something like that. In your personal family, not necessarily here. Um, write them a letter. Talk to them. Because you can really make a difference in somebody's life just by reaching out and talking sometimes. You know, there's an uh, elderly home near me. And I bet you it's, it's full of people that don't have somebody to talk to. So reach out, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Remember to spread love, not hate. Hashtag be stronger than excuses. Peace.